In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your hosting a domain to Squarespace. So this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial, so join me and follow along. So first what you need to do is go to Squarespace, make sure you're signed in, then go to your profile icon and then go to your account dashboard. And obviously we're going to our website. So here on the dashboard, you can then click on your website. Here is an example website I'm using for the video. So once you're on your website, you then want to go to settings in the bottom left hand corner that will open up this window and the first option should be domains. So here on domains, you can buy a domain through Squarespace or if you already have one that's on Hostinger, choose use a domain I own. Then you need to go ahead and enter in your domain. So here I am on Hostinger. I've already logged in and I'm on home here. So I'm going to use this domain knowledgebasedtutorials.com. So I'll copy it from Hostinger. I'll then go back to my website and enter in www. and then paste in that domain then we'll click go. In fact, we'll remove www. and we'll click next. As you can see, it's recognized that domain has been registered with Hostinger. And what we're going to do now is just connect it. I don't want to transfer my domain name to Squarespace. I want to keep it on Hostinger, but I can choose to connect it. So I'm going to click on connect domain. Then we need to choose the provider. So that is going to be Hostinger. So if it isn't here, we can choose other. So it looks like it isn't here. So I'm going to choose other and then connect domain. Okay, so now connection is in progress. We can now click continue. And now we are on the DNS settings and this table shows you the DNS entries that need to be added to your domain. So what we need to do is add these DNS settings to our domain name. And that is uh, pretty easy, right? So we go to Hostinger, we find the domain, we click on manage, and we need to go into the DNS settings of that domain. So here is DNS slash name servers. Click on that. And if you have any records already redirecting to other places, you want to go ahead and first delete these. So I'm going to delete all of these right now. Alternatively, you can just reset the DNS records down here. Right. So after we've got no records, we need to add the ones from Squarespace. So the first one is going to be a CNAME record. So we're going to copy the host. We're then going to go back to Hostinger. We are going to choose CNAME. And then in the name, you want to paste in the host. Then in the required data, you want to copy verify.squarespace.com. Then go back to Hostinger and paste that in as the target and click add record. So there we've added the first one. Now we need to enter in the second C name. So for the host, you want to type www and for the required data, we'll copy this. So record number two, C name in the name, you want to put all the host, you want to put www and in the target, you want to paste in this and then click add record. Now we need to add a bunch of A records. So you need to add four A records here. So I'll just add like one or two and then you'll get the point, right? So at is going to be at the host and we need to copy this required data. So now we're going type a record. The host should be at and it should point to this here that we've just copied. So go ahead and here add all of the records that you can. For some reason, this one is not working. I'll just finish off adding the ones that I can add. OK, so now we've got two added. I'm not sure why it doesn't add the other two. And now we're going to refresh these records and see what Squarespace picks up. So it's picked up all of these a records here. The only one it's waiting for is the C name record. You can see this C name record has been added and it just looks like it hasn't picked it up yet. OK, so now you can see all of the records have been found and now we're going to go ahead and view the website. You can click on view website or let's just try and type in the domain www.knowledgebasedtutorials.com. And when we enter that, you can see it redirects us to our Squarespace site. But this is a private site, so let me just make it on private. So we'll exit out of this go to settings, site availability. And if I want to make my website public, I'm just going to have to upgrade here because I'm not trying to upgrade. And this is just an example. And you can see it is working Squarespace. Everything's all set up and the URL is now working. So that's how you can connect Hostinger to Squarespace.